pipe size may have a great effect on the plant hydraulics. This effect may even lead to disturbance in operation. That's why it's important to analyze this effect firmly in many cases. An example of firm approach and how the line pressure drop or the pipe pressure drop affects the hydraulics. Let's take an example of the reboiler loop. The pressure difference between the reboiler bottom and the returning point to the tower is approximately zero. The only driving force here is the difference between the liquid density here and the vapor density here. The liquid density is much higher than the vapor density. So this means that this loop is very critical. We will need to increase the difference between H2 and H1 and minimize the pressure drop in the pipes here and the pressure drop in the reboiler. If we used the typical pressure drop criteria, in most cases, lower pipe sizes will meet them. But if we used these sizes in this check here, we will find that the pressure here may be larger than the pressure here, which shall cause no flow or much less flow in the reboiler loop, which means low reboiler duty and tower disturbance. If you like to check out a solved example of choosing the proper pipe size in a reboiler loop, along with solved examples in other cases, you can check out the pipe sizing course. Link is in the description. Another example can be shown which is related to the tower condenser hydraulics. If we see the condenser loop here, we must consider that the pressure at the condenser accumulator, which is P2, is less than the pressure at the tower itself. In order that the vapor flows from the tower to the vessel at the flow we want, then the difference between P1 and P2 should be greater than the sum of the pressure drop in this pipe, the pressure drop in the condenser, and the pressure drop in the last pipe. As the difference between P1 and P2 is minimum in most cases, this shall mean that the pressure drop in the piping and the exchanger should be minimum as, minimum as well. This would mean that the pipe sizing should be firmly checked in order to make sure that the calculated inlet pressure to the vessel, which is P1 minus pressure drop here, minus pressure drop in the condenser, minus pressure drop in the other pipe, is still higher than P2. Otherwise, this shall cause disturbance in the tower because this means that there will be lower flow here, lower condenser duty, so the whole tower operation shall be disturbed.